Hi, this is Ricky Podgorski live with your 905 News. I'm here today with Editors-in-Chief Elise Dudley and Peizo to talk about the third consecutive gold medal win for The Voice in Columbia Scholastic Press Association's annual medalist critique. Congrats on your win, guys. So Elise, what do you think contributed to the win? We had a really incredible staff last year. Everyone was incredibly dedicated to doing their work on time, getting things in when we needed them to get in, and also staying after until like 6 or 8 o'clock sometimes to make sure that the aesthetics of the paper were perfect. Elise and Pei, what do you hope to bring to the as the newest leaders this year? Uh, well, I certainly hope to improve the organization of the paper. Uh, I, I hope to uh, ensure that all the articles, they come in on time and that we meet our deadlines and that um, everything just runs smoothly. And I would like to make sure that we have enough community outreach, really pushing papers out to people who may not receive them in school. And I think Peggy and I would both agree that we want to follow in Bella Podorsi's footsteps, who was the editor-in-chief last year. She was an incredible, incredible editor, as well as Chris Lulo, who is the managing editor. In editor. We caught up with former editor-in-chief Bella Podgorski at Syracuse University and former managing editor Chris Lulo at Villanova University to talk about the win. Good morning, FHS. This is Chris Lula at Villanova University, and I'm here just to say congratulations to the staff of The Voice for winning gold yet again from Columbia. That's really awesome. We worked really hard last year to do that. I'm really proud of everyone. Just once more, congratulations. Can't wait to see what you all do this year, see if you guys can do even better this year, and I look forward to reading everything you do. So congratulations, and I'll see you all soon. Hi FHS, I'm Bella and I was Editor-in-Chief of The Voice last year. I wanted to send along my congratulations to everyone who contributed to the newspaper for the CSBA gold medal win. Good luck to the staff this year. Peyi, what goals do you have for the future? Uh, well, uh, we certainly want to keep up the great work that we've been doing for the past two years. and. Um, so, so consistency is key, and I also hope to uh, accumulate more accolades for the newspaper and to give it more prominence. The Voice's first issue is due to release next month. Please check out their website, www.fhsvoice.org, for more updates. Now back to you.